The doctrine of two powers also laid the groundwork for the papal monarchy, which began in the mid-700s when the papal states were created. Further, it could also be argued that Gelasius was making tentative steps in formulating the concept of separation of church and state. Other letters from Gelasius demonstrate his illusions of power. In what is known as Epistle 10, Democopolis writes that Gelasius makes the most assertive claim to Roman privilege in all of late antiquity. Five of these most assertive claims are, the whole church has been entrusted to the examination of the Roman see, the Roman see ought to judge the whole church, the Roman see cannot be judged by anyone, a Roman verdict cannot be scrutinized by another see, and a Roman verdict can never be overturned by another see. Further, Epistle 26 states, the see of blessed Peter the Apostle has the right to judge the whole church, neither is it lawful for anyone to judge its judgment. 